my case manager Alan Dowson after this afternoon's 2-1 home victory against Croydon Athletic. Alan, one of the turning points in the game was our equalising goal right on the stroke of half time. Croydon seemed adamant that it hadn't crossed the line. What was our players' take on it when they came back in the dressing room? A bit of boof. Um, when I'm walking up, I couldn't tell where I was to be honest, but uh, a bit of boof where a bit of a ball was over. Most of it was. Their players saying it's not. Um, I, I kind of see a thing. I just thought it was because it's my team. Um, it's one of them really where the linesman seems to it was, but we can't tell where we are. Half the players said oh, I couldn't see it. I've got two or three who said it was over. I've got a couple of their lads walking up. I was asking them, and they said, yeah, a little bit over. And one said, no, not at all. But uh, it made me off of a penalty decision when the lads handled it in the box. And, uh, so it swings and roundabouts. It might just be a bit of luck with, we needed it, to be honest, to kick one. And, uh, you know, so uh, the honest truth was, some say yes, some say no. We haven't got the technology here to prove anything different, so we'll just have to take it, to be honest, you know. I certainly take it, any decision that goes our way at the moment. It's a much improved second half performance today, I thought. What did you say to the players at half time? Uh, it, was never a problem. it was never a problem at half time because the wind, uh, it harms you went to watch Concord. I went to watch the police yesterday watching a couple of players, and Hamzy went to Concord, and um, me and Adrian Webers went to Mursley as well as one half there, one, and every game was spoiled by the wind. Every game was, and took be conked or not to be yesterday. So we knew that it was tight, we'll, we'll be able to get it down, play more, and it was they could possible for toss kicks to go anywhere or to pass the ball from the back because the wind was a very big factor. The second half, we managed to get the ball down a bit better, and we managed to um, pass it with a bit more urgency. And then, you know, we've missed his chance from a yard for Fainsy, but he'll, he'll score. And Antonio got a good ball at the bobby, and that was a good goal there. And so, uh, when you have chances like that, and you take them, you know, it was a good result because I don't think they're about, you know, they're not in, I would say, a false position, I think. Uh, you know, um, so, uh, there you go. We've got lots of things I've improved on. I've just signed Tom Hutchison from Lewis, um, defender. Um, I'm looking at two more players now, uh, so uh, we're just cracking on what we're doing um, and trying to do it better. That's what we're going to try to do, you know. Goal that Croydon scored today it came directly on the counter attack from our yeah. corner. They caught us a couple of times like that as well. So we had to make a couple of good saves. Uh, so how frustrating was that to watch? I, I said I had a bit of a pass. The only thing I popped out half time. I said, "But do you say that the first ball comes over? Do you win it? No. The second thing, if you can't win it, you've got to get yourself back." And it was like so sort of five or six of them, or, or died to get our penalty area, and three or four hours are having to jog back. So we said we've got to get back behind the ball quicker. To be honest, with a new team and there'll be more signings this week, I'll, um, we need to nail it on the training ground. We will, with Hamzy and Martin, we'll nail it on the training ground and get with better in positions. But no, I thought it was an awful goal to give it away. Be fair, we said before kickoff all season, we haven't come back from a goal down all season. And that's not a very good start, that, to be honest. Um, so today was the first time. So a fair play on that one. Hopefully, this can kick one a little bit and then um, we've got to improve. And uh, that's my job to try to do so, you know. Mo Harkin back from his yeah. loan spell today. Bash back from injury. How good is it? Have those two oh, back? Brilliant. I thought Bash was excellent, wasn't he? Bash was great. Moore tired a bit, which he would do. Fainz, he tired a bit, which he would do. Um, Greeny done okay, to be honest, in there. Kept the ball at times, it wasn't too bad. Um, we're, 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 we're done okay. About, but the, the truth of the matter is, um, the truth of the matter is, we just got to improve in all areas if we can, and that's what I'm trying to do at the minute, you know. Paul Vines, arguably, could have done better with the yep. one-on-one he had, um, but he looked lively, I thought. It looks a good signing. Um, he just hasn't played for well. He'll get better the next week. He'll have a good week's training with us. Um, he's got Saturday, he's got Tuesday. He'll get better. Not a problem. And Tate's waiting to get in as well. And we are looking at the situation up front. To tell you the truth, we had a league player signed, but went back because he was drafted in the squad. So, uh, we'll... At, at one all, the game seemed to be heading for a draw, but you took Gunella, yep. sent Gunella on the pitch. Um, he set up Bob for the winning goal. Um, another inspired substitution. No, but we just thought we should um, go a 4 4 2 against them and get people away, and that was the plan to get more. Because we thought that we started off quite well in the second half and should have scored a couple and should have done okay. Then it drifted, didn't give us drifting away, and frustrations were coming in. So we thought we'll get some fresh legs on. He's done that so well to pick out Bobby on the pass. Bobby's a great finish, and I'm delighted about the, the points, to be honest. That's fair play, you know. Uh, one of the players who left this week, Matt Gray, yep. um, was that a decision of the management team or was that a decision from the player? I am. Um, well, was Matt, was Matt no, I was going to say because uh, yeah, uh, it's always uh, one thing I always uh, respect here, and a mayor, and the reason I, it's always a management decision. It's all it is really. Um, uh, the board directors never get involved in anything I do. They give us a good budget to work with, to go, and um, so some people said um, on the way to deal, oh yeah, is it because you had the budget cut and things like that. No, I haven't. 
I do think I've managed very well this year, to be honest. I think it's one of my prowess as a, as a manager, an up and coming manager, and I really want to do well. I feel so uh, I could have managed better this year, but sometimes releasing players at the wrong time and not saying the, the players when came up and believing it was going to be okay. But I saw a thing against Concord Rangers, which I didn't like. And I saw an attitude at older players, which I didn't like. And I, I thought I'd, um, the deal was, you know, I, I said to them, I said, okay, if you are going to be like that, you drop your money, everybody, and you earn it back. And that's how I put it. Uh, Matty's a good kid, Matty Udrava. You know, I said he would all go to Met Police where he looked after himself, really, where he not had his money dropped and things like that. And he, we, we had a chat, and it was like one of them where we best to agree that he grows as such. Um, between well, he's a great lad. Um, he, he does a lot. He's done a lot for me over the years. He's been excellent for us, um, and he, he comes to these little. Um, deals with do if it's a real snake, you always pop along. So I respect that, respect him as a bloke and a, a player. I wish him well at Met Police, but it was none of us saw, yeah, you had to cut me money, or I, I, I had to cut the budget or nothing. I did, I helped dock people's money till they get better, um, including myself. Uh, I thought that was needed after the uh, Concord game. I thought I needed to make five or six changes. You can't say I'm not having a go because I am. Um, I helped me in mistakes, it's important I, I signed the right type of player, like fines. Um, people like that to be honest and I've got to look at a couple more and everybody has to a line if people want to are not willing to work to get their money up there's money at this football club we pay good wages but I'm not paying good wages for people um, to play like that against Concord Rangers or to get them um, stuffed off um, call short and things like that I'll pay good wages for people who work as socks off for a football club um, and to, I'm not it's probably wrong thing work yet it's not really a problem but that was a deal so I can get players in and some will take it some will not take it but that's the way I'm, I'm managing I'm determined to get my job right I do not have to with the players I've got to get my job right to be honest and how many players do you think you're going to need to have the squad that you want to be able to, to cement our place in the playoffs? I'm hoping to sign three this week. Um, I'll let it release a couple. Um, uh, I'll not be very popular. I imagine on the switchboard or the, the form or whatever, but, uh, losing popular players isn't good. Like losing Lodgy isn't good because he's won a championship here and been excellent. It's my decision. Losing Matt Greer, he's been excellent for us. Um, my decision. So when these players do leave, they do deserve a bit of, you know, well done and what Stowe's doing and all that because they've been great players for a football club. My job is to do the best for a football club and try to get the best we possibly can. And if it means changes, it means changes. And as always, at the end of the season, look where we are. And um, I'm saying you now with um, 17 games left, 16 games left, I think I could have managed a bit better this year. And I think I made some mistakes, which I'm not happy about as a young manager. I think I could have managed the club better this year from pre-season to now. But from today, I've won a game, so I'm managing a bit better. If I win a one next week, I could be back on track. And I, I'm not, I want to fight tooth and nail to do the best I possibly can. But there's no rift between anything else. The clubs have run very, very well on top of bottom. We're all behind with um, everybody's you know, trying their best to all. There's no, oh yeah, I've got to get rid of six players because I've got to cut the budget in half and stuff like that. There's none of that whatsoever. People don't say what they want, make up what they want. All I am the most amb um, ambitious bloke you ever want to meet in your life with the, most, with the best coach in non league football. Adrian Rivers, Martin Taylor, Martin Taylor, Taylor Rivers, are very ambitious um, and uh, so are the two owners. If we all stick together and the support us can stick together with us and give a little bit you know, support at the end of the season like we always do, then I'm hoping that, um, we can do something this year. If not, then I'll let it dust myself down and make sure we come back and win it next year, but the focus is on winning it this year. And uh, Two weeks ago I was tapped for a working job or whatever, then you all of a sudden you lost the plot. That's, I'll, I'll take that as management, but I've got to try to make the best decision what I believe in, and I'll never go against that. And I'll always, it doesn't matter who I upset or who I make happy, I'll always try to do the best decision what I think for the supporters in the football club. I mean that, to be honest, you know. Thank you. Thanks no Do at a minute, you know. Paul Vines arguably could have done better with the yep. one on one he had, um, but he looked lively. I thought it looks a good signing. Uh, he just hasn't played for well. He'll get better the next week. He'll have a good week's training with us. Um, he's got Saturday, he's got Tuesday. He'll get better. Not a problem. And Tate's waiting to get in as well. And we are looking at the situation up front. To tell you the truth, we had a league player signed but went back because he was drafted in the squad. So uh, we'll continue that in rest of the world next week. Um, you know, I, I just got to improve it in every way I possibly can. You know. Um, yeah, who's done that? <laughs> who's done that? What? what? Why did?
fucking door. Sorry, son. Okay, you're coming from. I'm not coming in and doing Sorry, well done. I'll tell you that. You just put the light off when I was fucking speaking. <laughs> Uh, you won't send anything interesting anyway. Yes? Yeah? You won't send anything interesting anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> you missed the line. What? You missed the line. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> right. We can edit all this out, it's fine. Okay. Um. <laughs> I know, I know, I didn't. I know. Me and referees don't fucking get on. We're not taking the piss out of it. He's sitting the fucking late off. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, let's go then. Let's